Hello, my name is Rob Chambers and this is a tutorial for you about uh, doing a lit up area in a darkened room in Game Maker Studio. This is something that I've had to figure out myself in the last few days and I thought I'd share it with everybody else. So I've got a new Game Maker Studio project. Um, first thing I'm going to do is load some sprites in so you can see uh, what I'm doing. So my first one um, I shall call SPR underscore light and the sprite I'm going to use is one that I've created looks a bit like this I'll just drag that out so you can see and this sprite is 64 by 64 um, I did experiment with bigger sprites uh, but I made this one in uh, Illustrator I can share it on the YouTube channel as well so you can see exactly how it works Basically, uh, it's a large black sprite um, with about a 20% sized sort of opening in the center of it. Um, as you can see, it's pretty uh, low res, it's very pixelated. Um, and load that in. And I also want to put the origin of the sprite in the center. Uh, I also need to create a player sprite just for the purposes of the tutorial. Oh, actually I'll just uh, create a new one. Uh, 32 by 32 is fine. Uh, I'm just going to make a blob which seems to be the preferred method of creating these things. Should have selected a colour. And again I'm going to actually put the origin of this sprite in the centre and we can line it up a little bit easier. You could uh, change the code to to move the other sprite as you want. Uh, I'm going to need a background so uh, I have a background that I'm just going to use here, it's just a wooden floor, simple thing uh, we'll call that bg underscore floor um, and go ok. So we've, we've got some sprites uh, in, the, in there now. I'm going to create a room uh, this room I need to, I'm going to be using a view so I'm going to create the room at 2000 by 2000. Um, I'm going to have my background BG floor which will be visible from when the room starts. I'm also going to use views. Um, this view I'm going to create at uh, standard resolution um, 768 1024 by 768. Uh, it's going to follow the player object which I'll deal with in just a second but that's basically the room uh, right so create the object obj underscore player okay it's gonna have that for, for a sprite so we're gonna add event a step event uh, and in this step event we're just gonna put some movement code it's fairly straightforward so if keyboard check bk underscore left then I know some people like to put their uh, um, brackets in, in different places but uh, I'm a bit of a traditionalist so I, I put them in, uh, there um, so left x minus equals 5 um, I'm also going to use copy and paste because I'm lazy like that um, <coughs> So do it up and down. So that's just the code to make the player move when you use the keyboard. And then I also want to add another event in the draw GUI event. So we're going to draw the the uh, the darkness sprite on screen over the top of the player. So um, I found that there are a number of ways of doing it. This way is my favourite way because when you use Game Maker for things like iOS and Android, and you're trying to use it on the mobile phone, this seems to be a, a much more elegant way of doing it for the smaller screen, the the, the lower processing power. Um, so the first thing we need to do is create uh, some scale for the uh, for the actual sprite itself. So I like to use a, a local variable to the script. So we create a var scale. I'm using the var 
here um, just simply means that this variable is only available in the draw GUI event, which means it uses up a lot less memory. So scale is equal to. Now we want to use the um, view underscore w view. Okay, and we want to go times two. Now the sprite that we've used for the darkness is, is obviously got the, the, the darkness in the center so what we don't want to happen is for the player to reach the edge of the level and for you to be able to see where that sprite comes in so what we need to do is take the size of the view and make sure that the sprite is scaled so that it never appears within the edge of the, the actual screen itself so um, the view width times two because it, that's the, the largest of the two uh, things and then we just divide that by sprite <coughs> underscore get underscore width and then we're going to use spr underscore light um, I'll try to explain that as best as I can so um, my sprite is 64 by 64 so if my view is 1024 we times that by 2 which gives me 2048 so I need my sprite to be 2048 so in order to get that, we divide that by the width, width of the actual sprite, 64, which gives me 32. So my scale is actually 32. <clears throat> and then we draw the sprite. So sprite, uh, sorry, draw underscore sprite. And then I'm going to use, uh, I've got caps lock on, uh, the extension, extended version of it. So spr underscore light. Uh, we've only got one sub-image, so the x is x minus view underscore x view. If you've ever used views before, that's you should understand, but if not, basically we want the x of the player, but we want the x of the player within the view, so we minus the x of the view, and that gives us the center of wherever we are in the actual viewport rather than the room. y minus view underscore y view. So that does the, the y value as well. Um, so x scale, we use the scale, and again the scale, y scale rotation, zero. Color, we use c underscore white, so you can actually see the sprite, and alpha we set to one. And that's it. So that's our, our player object uh, with the with the, the GUI event. So as you can see, that's the that's simply the code for drawing the sprite over the top of the player. We go into the room. We add a, a, a player object, and then uh, the last thing I'm going to do is change the view to follow the player, <coughs> and I want the player to pretty much be in the center of the room, so I'm going to use half the values of those, so 512 by 384, so that the player always stays in the center of the view unless they reach the side. So we go OK, and now when I run the game, You should see there that the the player is in the in the view as they should be. Um, we have the sprite over the top. As you can see, the game maker um, when it scales, it actually uh, it kind of does this blurring effect, which is kind of annoying for most things. But for this, it's absolutely perfect because it means that I can use a 64 by 64 graphic and scale it up, and it gives me a, an absolutely fantastic blend um, and gives me a, a great sort of light source to, to play around with and as you can see it it runs very very quickly um, compared to some of the other tutorials that we that, that you might have seen on, on YouTube this this way seems to be the best way I found of, of making it work with things like mobile phones so thanks for watching uh, I'll see you again in another tutorial soon bye